Hello there guys and welcome to Planet Beer TV for the first calendar crawl travel vlog. For those of you who don't know what the calendar crawl is, basically we bought this calendar and we're going to go to every single pub in this calendar in the given month. Now, I did do a video in the new year which kind of went through the calendar and all the different locations that we were going to throughout the year so we know what to expect. It's a f weather spoons. If you want to check that video out, just do that. But in the meantime, we're going to go into January's. Yeah, that's right. January. I'm very aware that this video is arriving late, but I'm not a travel vlogger, so I've actually kind of really wrestled with kind of like the concepts and the formats, try and get something here that really works with the footage that I've got. So what we settled on was something that is short, punchy, a little bit sexy, easily watchable and won't take up too much of your time. And it's hopefully going to be entertaining in the process. Now, if travel vlogs aren't for you, then feel free to sit this one out. I'll get that. But please do stick with the channel because we do have some more brewery and beer related content coming up really soon. This is just something that I kind of wanted to do throughout the year that will kind of punctuate and plug in those gaps that we're very aware that we leave between content releases. So yeah, let's get stuck in January. So this month we're throwing at the shallow end for a relatively short drive to the Pear Tree Inn in Hook Norton, Oxfordshire, home to the independent family owned Hook Norton Brewery. We knew that modern craft was going to be slim pickings in this neck of the woods, so we worked up a first for Cascale while checking our untaps. Twats. And when we got there, we made a half-assed, fully sober attempt at a travel vlog. Right. Anyway, shall we go in and see what the pub's got to hold? Yeah, let's hang go. On, hang on a bit. Uh, but we soon realised it just wasn't for us. I'm not enjoying this filming, Chris. Me neither, but I've committed to it now. Hang on, I've got to stop recording. So once inside, we said hello to the locals and smashed back some old hooky among other beers. The standout beer for me was probably the 12 Days Porter. It was a roasty toasty bastard that was just the right sort of thing for that weather. Then we made a three minute walk to the brewery, which looks like something from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and grabbed some food. We were actually sat next to the owners at one point, they were having dinner next to us. Um, so we got chatting to Mrs. Hook Norton. I don't think that's her actual name. But yeah, it wasn't the right time for a formal interview on camera, so I didn't push it. Once we'd eaten and had a few more drinks, we went to the gift shop. My friend Jack actually bought the entire gift shop. Then we grabbed a taxi and made an abortive trip to Banbury, which, to be honest, I just don't want to talk about it. So we grabbed a taxi, probably about nine-ish or something, and then we made our way back to the calendar pub, the Pear Tree Inn, to drink to forget we'd ever even tried to leave it. Sometimes in pub roulette, it's better to just stick than twist. And that proved out to be the right choice because the pub was fantastic, the hospitality was excellent, there was a cheese night going on, the landlady was excellent, knocked us up her complimentary cheese board, and then basically we just stayed up till 2am chatting to her and drinking. Well, some of us stayed up. That's John. He always falls asleep. Anyway, after that, it was basically upstairs to the bedrooms, which are really nice. I'd highly recommend staying there. If, if for ever for some reason you go to Hook Norton and need to stay there, the Pear Tree Inn is the place to go. And then it was back on the road, back to where we came from, and that was January in the bag. Between the six of us, we smashed back 69 and a half pints and spent 313 pounds and 95 pence for the pleasure. For a full write-up on the trip with all the grisly details, including the trip to Banbury, check out the blog link that's in the description. So that's January done, on to February. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed.